This restaurant on a back street of Addis Ababa is a popular meeting point for Yemeni refugees. While some have been here from the onset of the war in Yemen three years ago, others have just arrived. 18-year-old Abdul Hamid Shari arrived just six days ago. He told me about the long and difficult escape from the Yemeni city of Baida. Aden, from Aden to Djibouti. I first came to Aden, then traveled by boat to Djibouti before boarding a vehicle for the Ethiopian border. Officials at the border were respectful. The Ethiopian government has an open door policy for Yemeni refugees. Unlike refugees of other nationalities here, they've been allowed to live in urban areas. But access to jobs remains a challenge for them, as this country of 100 million people has a huge unemployment problem. Rafiq Ahmed is chairman of the Yemeni refugee community in Ethiopia. We thank the Ethiopian people and government for the way they welcomed us. We live here like it's our own country. This is because of the huge bond dating back thousands of years between Ethiopia and Yemen. Once they cross the border into Ethiopia, Yemeni refugees pass through security and nationality screening procedures before they are registered. Without that, they can't get assistance from the UN Refugee Agency. Constant delays of resettlement programs to a third country add to their hardship. UNHCR pays us about $70 a month per person. It's not enough to live on that. Rent and the cost of living are high. Yet many here have little hope of a quick return home. An end to the conflict is a long way off. Our country is the setting of a proxy war between regional and international powers. But few places in Yemen are these safe. And so for the refugees, this is home for now. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.